So what is taking place at Sam's Club that is making it so much different than Walmart? Sam's Club is so overstocked than more than Walmart. For one, they have a lot more big ticket items and everything else. Their inventory is so huge on some of these products that they bring into the store, they have no place to put it. These poor shipping and receiving people that I deliver to, they're just pulling their hair out. They have six full trailers setting in the yard right now that need to be unloaded. They can only unload two a day because that's all they have room for based on the product that they sell off the floor and based on the availability of the room in the back rooms of the Sam's Club. Now, whereas Walmart has a larger facility to um, store the products and stuff, and a lot of their products are a lot smaller than the Sam's Club products. For one, you have to think about you're buying all different types of huge things from the huge TVs to living room sets, um, all types of furniture, uh, all the big ticket items that they have in those stores, they have to have some place to put them. Beds and the whole nine yards. You know, this stuff takes up a lot of room out on the floor of a Sam's Club wholesale. So what is really taking place here? You know, some of these trailers, because of the nature of the product of general merchandise, has been setting on the trailers there for over 30 days because there's nowhere to put that particular product. Now think about that. All right, so more than likely, most of this stuff has come overseas, been in a container. Lord knows how long it was out there. Then once it got unloaded, it has moved across the country and been either on the same container or transferred into a truck. And now it has to be delivered to the store where it's still setting outside in a trailer has been outside shortly after it was made, however long ago that could be. You know, for furniture and things of that nature, maybe it won't be too bad. But if you think about electronics, after a while, folks, this heat has to really start affecting a lot of these electronics. You know, even our cell phones don't like to be out in that extreme heat. And it's not good for them. It breaks them down. And, you know, the components and stuff, they're not made for extreme heat or extreme cold. So what does this mean? I mean, they're in a world of hurt here. And, you know, they're trying anything and everything to get everybody to come into a Sam's Club store. Now, yes, this sale that I'm going to tell you about does expire today on the 14th. But if you go into Sam's Club, you can get a 12-month membership right now. Today is the last day for it uh, for $20. And you get a $25 gift card to use towards your first purchase in the store of $25 or more. So you could go in and buy something for $25, use that gift card, and you just got it for free. But they're trying to drum up any type of business that they can and get people into that store because unlike Walmart, anybody can walk in. Sam's Club, you have to be a member. They're also offering another type of membership right now. All right. This is as I have been doing some investigating to see what they're trying to do to move some of this product. But they're offering a Sam's Club Plus membership uh, package deal and that's for 50 bucks that includes two percent sam's cash and free shipping on anything you order online free curbside pickup and it usually costs about 100 bucks and you're saving 50 dollars on that right now and you guys can go on to uh, groupon.com and you guys can check out all these different types of deals that all these companies are having right now especially any ones that are membership companies because they want you in that door. They need you in that door because they are really hurting. The CEO from Walmart has just um, 
put out some more bad numbers for Walmart in general, which is incorporating Walmart and Sam's Club together. All right. They are now anticipating more pressure on general merchandise in the back half of this year. Quote, unquote, from CEO Doug McMillan. He said in a press release just this past week that Walmart and Sam's Club, which in May they had forecasted a 1% fall in a full year operating income, okay, for this full year. But they now anticipate a decline of 11 to 13%. Because let's face it, folks. People don't have the money right now to go out and to buy all these different types of products that they're trying to push. The sales are going to be on the things that you don't need at this point in time in the financial situation that a lot of us are in and that is what is going on at any given moment you don't know if you're going to be able to afford a roof over your head, food on the table, or anything else. You got back to school. All these parents and everything else out here have had to spend money on back to school products to get their kids ready for school. Florida, all the schools are in as of tomorrow. Um, a lot of the other states, they're going to all start rolling in. So all across this country, people are concentrating and putting what funds they do have into getting their kids ready for school. They're not worried about buying that 80-inch big screen TV. They're not buying, worried about buying that brand new big bed. They're not worried about buying new furniture. They're not worried about any of that kind of stuff because of where we are with the inflation rate and everything else. They're worried about getting their kids ready for school, keeping a roof over their head, and food on the table. And that's about all they can do at this point in time, in the times we live in. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to bring you this quick video today on Sam's Club and what is going on there and why they're hurting worse than actual Walmart is. And maybe Sam's Club is bringing down the whole Walmart corporation because the big ticket items aren't selling. They're setting. And they're setting outside in trailers and they're just sitting there baking in that heat. It's summertime. So, till next time, folks. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. Make sure that you're paying attention to stuff you're buying. You know, maybe check the stuff out and, you know, look it over really well. No matter where you're buying it at, pay attention. Because Lord only knows how long it's been setting and uh, where it's been. <laughs> you know, we just don't know. Till next time, catch you all on the flip side.